हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू प्रैक्टिकल बायोकेमिस्ट्री द टॉपिक इज रिएक्शंस ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स दिस कंपोज ऑफ मोनोसेकेराइड्स डाइसेकेराइड्स ओलिगोसेकेराइड्स एंड पॉलीसेकेराइड्स फिजिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स फिजिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ दिस सोल्यूशन कलर एंड अपियरेंस क्लियर सोल्यूशंस प्रोटीन कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स यूरिया यूरिक एसिड क्रिएटिनिन मे बी प्रेजेंट ओपेलेसेंट देर मे बी प्रेजेंस ऑफ स्टार्च डेक्सट्रीन एल्ब्यूमिन ग्लोबुलिन और जिलेटिन वेन द येलो कलर ऑफ द सोल्यूशन देर मे बी प्रेजेंस ऑफ प्रोटियोजिस पेप्टॉन और केसिन रिएक्शंस विथ लिटमस एसिडिक रिएक्शन प्रोटीन्स मे बी प्रेजेंट वेन इट्स एल्कलाइन इट इंक्लूड्स केसिन और यूरिक एसिड वेन इट्स न्यूट्रल रिएक्शन This includes protein, carbohydrates, urea, creatinine. Order of this solution: unpleasant, fishy smell. This includes proteases, peptones. Orderless solutions: this includes protein, carbohydrate, urea, uric acid, creatinine. Taste for the carbohydrate: molasses taste, iodine taste, Benedict taste, Selivanov taste. inversion taste barfoid taste osazone taste so all these are the taste to see reactions of the carbohydrates molasses taste principal carbohydrates when treated with concentrated sulfuric acid it undergo dehydration and gives furfural derivatives this compound condenses with alpha naphthol to form colored products pentose yield furfural while hexose yield 5 hydroxy methyl furfurals so that is the principle of molasses taste now the method observation and inference method take 2 ml taste solution add two drops of alpha naphthol solution and mix then add 2 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid carefully through the side of the taste tube without shaking observation purple ring is formed at the junction of acid and solution inference carbohydrate is present so that's the molasses taste iodine taste principle the large polysaccharide molecules at soap the smaller iodine molecules on their surface and forms a color complex of undefined chemical nature the color obtained depend upon the length of the unbranched or liner chain available for the complex formation so that is the principle of iodine taste method observation and inference of iodine taste method take 1 ml taste solution add 2 to 3 drops of iodine and mix observation blue or violet color develops inference polysaccharide is present includes starch dextrin that is the iodine taste 
benedict taste principal carbohydrates with free aldehyde or ketone groups have the ability to reduce solutions of various metallic ions reducing sugars under alkaline conditions tautomerize and forms enediols these enediols are powerful reducing agents they reduce cupric ions to cuprous form and are themselves converted to sugar acids the cuprous ions combine with oh minus ions to form yellow cuprous hydroxide which upon heating is converted to red cuprous oxide so that is the principle of benedict test method observation and inference method take 3 ml of benedict's reagent add 5 drops of test solution mix boil for 1 minute and cool observation green yellow orange brick red precipitate seen at the bottom of the test tube inference reducing group is present in the carbohydrate that's the benedict test selivanov test principal keto hexose on treatment with hydrochloric acid forms 5 hydroxy methyl furfural which on condensation with resorcinol gives cherry red color complex that is the principle of selivanov test method observation inference of selivanov test method take 1 ml test solution add 1 ml selivanov reagent boil for 15 to 30 second observation cherry red color formed inference keto sugars present for example in fructose so this is the selivanov test inversion test principal sucrose is a non reducing sugar since it does not have free aldehyde or ketone group to cause reduction hence it gives a negative reaction with benedict test or the benedict reagent sucrose on hydrolysis with hcl is converted to glucose and fructose the presence of these two monosaccharides can be confirmed by benedict's and selivanov test that is the principle of inversion test method observation inference of inversion test method take 4 ml test solution add 3 drops of concentrated hcl boil for 1 minute and cool divide solution in two parts part 1 make it alkaline with 5 drops of 40 percentage naoh and perform benedict test part 2 from this solution perform selivanov test
observation benedict test is positive selivanov test is positive inference sucrose is present that is inversion test barfoid test principle the reduction of cupric ions is carried out in acidic medium aldosis and ketosis can reduce cupric ions in acidic conditions for example monosaccharide gives this taste positive this taste is used to distinguish reducing monosaccharides from disaccharides by controlling ph and time of heating that is the principle of barfoid taste method observation inference of barfoid taste method take 1 ml taste solution add 1 ml barfoids reagent boil for 2 to 3 minutes and cool excess boiling more than 3 minute gives false positive results observation red colored precipitates at the bottom of the test tube inference monosaccharide present disaccharide absent that is the barfoid test osazon test principle a solution of reducing sugar when heated with phenyl hydrazin at 100 degree celsius and ph of 4.3 characteristic yellow crystalline compounds called osazon are formed osazon formation involves c1 and c2 carbons these crystals have difference in crystalline structure precipitation time and melting point for different reducing sugars that is the principle of osazon test method take 2 ml test solution add osazon mixture which contains one part of phenyl hydrazine hydrochloride and two part of sodium acetate so in this test you have to take 2 ml test solution add osazon mixture till the solution becomes saturated now add 8 to 10 drops of glycyl acetic acid mix well and place the tubes in boiling water bath for 45 minutes after 45 minutes allow test tubes to cool at room temperature mount the crystals on glass light and observe under the microscope Now the observation and inference of osazon test observe this yellow crystal under the microscope there are three different types of crystals are visible if it looks like needle or bundle of grass then it's glucosazon glucose is confirmed if it is looks like needle bundle of grass shape crystals fructosazon fructose is confirmed If you see needle or bundles of grass then it's called glucosazon and fructosazon glucose and fructose are present if it looks like cotton ball or power puff and these are known as hedge hose crystals lactosazon lactose is confirmed if it looks like cotton ball or power puff these are known as hedge hose crystals and here it's lactosazon lactose is confirmed or the present if it is looks like sunflower shaped or petal shaped then maltosazon and maltose is confirmed so here you are saying if the crystals are look like this sunflower shaped or petal shaped 
then it's called maltosazone and it confirms the presence of maltose so that is the osazone taste i hope through this presentation everyone understand reactions of carbohydrates if you like this presentation please try to share it with your friends group batch and colleagues thank you so much